Annyeong, hello! Today I will share 12 essential ingredients to make authentic and delicious Korean food whether you're new to Korean cooking or a pro. Let's jump into the first ingredient. Soy sauce. The most important ingredient is soy sauce. You might be overwhelmed by all the brands and types available so let me break it down for you. There are two main categories. First, there is yangjo ganjang, which is regular soy sauce used for almost everything except for soup. If you can't decide what to get, I would recommend getting this one. The second type is jinganjang, which is dark soy sauce. It's richer, slightly thicker, and less salty than regular soy sauce. There are other types of soy sauce like soy sauce for soups, but once again, if you don't want to buy all of them, just get the regular soy sauce, yangjo ganjang. Korean chili flakes, gochugaru. This is an essential ingredient for spicy Korean food. It creates a vibrant red color and adds a spicy kick to Korean dishes. This is a must-have for any Korean kitchen. Sesame oil. Sesame oil will immediately enhance the flavors in your dish. Just a drizzle of this nutty and aromatic oil will elevate your Korean side dishes, fried rice, and seasoned vegetables. I use any brand I can get. It's a game changer. Korean chili paste. Gochujang. Gochujang is an essential ingredient for many Korean dishes such as bibimbap, Tteokbokki, takarbi, and many more. This thick chili paste adds a rich and slightly sweet spicy flavor. It's a must for all spice lovers out there. Garlic. Garlic is a must in Korean cooking. You'll need it for marinades, sauces, soups, and more, so make sure to keep some in your kitchen. They add depth and zing to the dishes. I use both fresh garlic and jarred ones. Freshly minced garlic tends to have a more profound flavor and smell, while the jarred ones tend to mix better in soups and stews due to their consistency. Oyster sauce. Oyster sauce adds depth and a unique flavor not only to various stir-fried dishes but also to stews, soups, and marinades. You can use any brand you want. Fish sauce. Ekjot. Some people may not like it because of the strong fish smell, but if you use it well, it brings amazing umami flavor. If you can't find Korean fish sauce, you can use whatever one you can find like Thai fish sauce. It's a key ingredient in many types of kimchi, soups, and various Korean side dishes. Soybean paste, denjang. I don't use this as often as the other ingredients I mentioned earlier, but it is a must when making soybean stew known as denjang jjigae. This paste brings depth and umami flavor to soups and stews. Cooking wine, medium. It's commonly used to get rid of unpleasant smells from the meat and add pleasant sweetness to the food. It's basically sweet alcohol for cooking. You can also use the Japanese one as they're fundamentally the exact same ingredient as the Korean medium. Rice. The heart of Korean meal is rice. I recommend getting short grain rice. It's also called sushi rice in some grocery stores. It's stickier than long grain rice and eaten with almost every Korean dish. Seaweed, kim. Seaweed is not only a popular snack but also a common ingredient in Korean cooking. Use it to wrap rice and make kimbap or crumble it over dishes for a crispy, flavorful touch. Lastly, kimchi, the iconic fermented side dish made of vegetables, most commonly cabbage and radishes. It's tangy, spicy, and packed with probiotics. You can eat it as a side dish or use it to make various dishes like kimchi stew and kimchi fried rice. So these are the 12 essential ingredients for Korean cooking. Sometimes you might need more ingredients, but if you have these, I guarantee you'll be able to make plenty of delicious Korean dishes. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Korean cooking videos. Bye!